Hey guys, it's Laurel. Today is Saturday, April 20th, and this is floss tube number something. 37. Sorry, I looked it up and forgot just that quick. Um, I feel like I haven't talked to y'all in a hundred years, but it's only been two weeks. So I am going to share just a little bit of life updates. I have whips. I have sows coming up. I have just a little bit of haul. I did really good this time. Just a little bit of haul. I have new quilts on the wall to talk about. I have quilt camp coming up that I'm going to talk about. And I have a couple just random things that I just thought were cool to show you later. So welcome to or welcome back. I'm glad you're here. Um, hope everybody's had a good couple weeks that you've gotten everything done that was on your checklist. If it was just rest, that you got the rest that you needed. And I hope you've had a good two weeks. So the last day that I filmed was on a Saturday. The next day, Sunday, after evening service, we had gone to get dinner at a pizza place. And as I was eating my pizza, I broke a tooth off back here in the back on the bottom. So I was like, okay, great. I mean, it didn't hurt or anything. It wasn't sensitive, but I was like, great. So I got up Monday morning, called the dentist. I was like, hey, guess what? So they worked me in. I went to see them. I love my dentist as much as you can love a dentist. The, the office, the whole group of people there, they are fantastic. I, I really like them. Their business is good. Their, um, their mannerisms are good. I mean, they are just genuinely good people. So I go in and they're like, oh, okay. The, the girl comes in. She's like, okay. So she said, we're going to take an x-ray. I was like, okay, because I knew they would. So she takes the x-ray and you know, the x-rays come up right away on the screen. And she says, oh, and I was like, hmm, I wonder what that meant. And I was like, well, maybe she just hit her elbow or something. So she says, I'll be right back. So she goes and she gets the dentist and he comes in and he looks at the screen and he said, oh, so I was like, mm, I feel like they didn't both hit their elbow. I was right. They did not. Um, so they were taking the x-ray to look at the tooth that was broken to see, um, you know, see it on the x-ray, see what was the best option for fixing it. Well, when they x-rayed that tooth, of course, it picks up the tooth next to it which is part of a bridge on this side of my mouth. And it had, um, it was abscessed. I've never had an abscessed tooth before. I've had a lot of dental work in my life. I probably have three cars at this point in my mouth. Spent a lot of money on my teeth, but I've never had an abscess before. So he was like, okay, you're going to need to have a root canal. He said, now I need to fix the one in the back, but I need this one. This one takes priority. It needs to be seen. So we're going to call over to the place that they refer people to said, if they can't see you today or tomorrow, we're going to put you on a really high antibiotic. And I was like, okay, I've had root canals before. Bye. So they got me work, got me a schedule for an appointment for the next day. Went over next day, had it done. Didn't feel anything. Didn't feel the first shot. Didn't feel one bit of anything. They were fantastic, which is the same place I'd have my other ones done. Afterwards, she's going down the run list of like, you know, the over-counter medicines you can take and what to expect and blah, blah, blah. And she's like, now the, the pain will get worse before it gets better. And I'm like, oh, you know, I was listening to her, but I was like, it's fine. It's fine. I've had two of these before. So no more than like having a feeling. I was wrong because neither one of those teeth were abscessed. So all that to say, I lost about a good five days of stitching and I don't even know what happened in those days besides pain because it hurt so bad. I was very whiny. I was very needy, but I feel so much better now. <laughs> I still have to get the one behind it fixed, but that's okay. That will be, that's just a crown and it will be, you know, easily done. I mean, all of it hurts your pocketbook, but, um, um, had, all that just, like I said, great people taking care of my mouth, but oh, that was a doozy. And 
don't ever want to go through that again. Ever, ever, ever. So that was the bad part of my last two weeks. The rest of the two weeks was great, but because of that, I don't, ooh, I'm sorry, Piper's sitting with me and she just put her cold nose on my, <laughs> on my arm. <laughs> um, but then let's just move on to the good stuff. Okay, so I want to, I think I'm going to start with whips just to get those knocked out out of the way. Now, I did, I'm not up to date on my assignment stitching because the way I have it set, I do like one piece each week to get my steps. Well, I lost a week. I was behind from the week before that. Uh, and we did, we had a, um, we went to like a uh, family night for where my husband works. They ran out a little section of the ballpark. So we got to go see the grasshoppers play one night. I've never been to a ball game that was so cold in all my days. Like normally when we go to a grasshopper game, it's like a million and a half degrees. It was so cold that day. So cold. So anyway, they won. We got to, you know, go hang out and do that. But that lost a little bit of, lost an evening where I would have been stitching. But that's okay because it was, it was a good time. My uh, son and his girlfriend went. We had a good time. But... So I'm going to show you what I did get done, which is not what I had aimed to get done. But again, it's just a hobby, so that's okay. We're not going to get worked up for that. Um, this piece, I, I didn't work on since the last time I saw you, but I forgot to show it in the last video. So this is Elizabeth Hunt. I'm stitching this with Diane Sutton. And she mapped it out for us, for us to have a finish um, in two years, not to try to squeeze it into a year. I'm stitching this on 36 count Tyco using the call for colors, but I did not coffee dye the floss, like I said. So this is where I am. So last time, I don't know what I was thinking. I was like, oh, I just have this and this and this to do, but I didn't have the flowers done over here. I was thinking I was way more ahead than what I was, but I got to the the first berry bowl, and of course, as of late, I'm so in love with the berry bowl, I can't stand it, but look how pretty. So pretty. So this would have had me caught up through March, April, We'll come down probably to about there, maybe maybe just under the bird. I'm not sure exactly I have to look, but that next little section. And I do want to try to start on my on the words a little bit. I had said something uh, to Diane on Instagram about starting the... I was, was thinking about starting the words, and I like what she said. She said she was going to um, leave her vegetables till the end and she was going to stitch all the fun stuff first. So she was eat, she was having her dessert before her vegetables is what she said. So apparently I'm going to dabble in some vegetables with my sweets. Okay, so the next piece I worked on was one of my Whipco picks. It is Floral Motif Sampler by the Scarlet House. I'm stitching this on a 20, no, a 32 count limestone Lugana. And I'm using the call four colors and I'm stitching two over two. I had gotten over, I had this flower. I had like the, most of the stems done. So I got it out to work on it. I've done quite a bit of frogging over the last couple weeks. And the little bit of stitching I've done, the ratio of frogging that I have done to stitching time is not um, what I would prefer it to have been. But I will show you. So one of these... I can't remember which one, but one of these I had stitched the stem piece wrong because there's a difference between this flower and this flower. And apparently I looked at this flower when I was stitching the bottom one. So I was off a little bit. So I had to frog out a little section of the stem 
before I went back in and finished the flower. So I actually worked on this probably more than two hours, but it wasn't like in one setting. So it was a little, you know, you have to have a little bit of time to get back into it. But all I got done was finishing this flower. But isn't it a pretty flower? It's just, it's just so pretty. I, I just don't know what else to say about it besides it's just pretty. She does a lot of pretty stuff, but this is, this has got to be one of my favorites of hers. And, and everybody that stitched it has just raved about it. I haven't watched it yet, but I could tell by the YouTube picture that Annie the Proper Stitcher has finished hers. So I need to go back and watch that. Hers, I want to say she stitched hers like on a 40 count maybe, and it was the, the linen had a little bit of a yellow tone, and it's really, really pretty. Really pretty. Um, so I also, we had a little traveling this week. It was really good traveling. So I'm not going to go into detail just yet, but I will just say that we had someone that was on a trip that's now back. So we had a little car traveling to go pick them up and get them situated. So I will elaborate a little more on that in the next video. But since I was in the car, I continue to work on my car piece, which is White Winter Moth by Kathy Barrick. I'm stitching this on a 25 count Lugana two over two. And I think I didn't go back and look yet, but I'm pretty sure it's like vintage country mocha or one of those. So I finished up one side of the wing and I started this motif up at the top. It's about halfway done. Now, when I showed it last, I had not done this bottom in the green and I was uh, this green wasn't done. I'd only done about half of this one. And then I was maybe to here with the white. Something like that. But I got all the green filled in. I did a little bit more on the body. I know what she's doing. A little bit more on the body. I stitched this bottom green. And then I was like, that's good. Because then it's mindless. You know, you don't have to look at a pattern. You're just filling in the white. So we were in the car. I have another project in with this one. Which never fares well for me. I always wind up picking up a random floss that I'm not supposed to, and that's what I did. So I put in just one strand before I caught it, but it was all this white that was it within this motif. So if you take this circle, all the white that was in there, I stitched in the wrong white. I didn't notice it until that was Wednesday. I didn't notice it till Thursday night I got home and I was like, you know, I just want to work on that some more. I really would like to just finish off that wing and have it at that stopping point before I put it away. And when I pulled it out and I have a light over my couch, then it really showed up and I was like, oh, unbelievable. So I had to do some frogging and then put it back in. And since I did that, I didn't have time to finish it that night. So I wound up finishing and filling in. Uh, yesterday but it's come along nicely so I'm almost to the halfway point but it has been a really really good car stitch I will definitely keep that in my my car stitch bag but I do have another one coming up that will also be on that count that will maybe get some attention on car. We'll see. And then the last thing I worked on since I saw you last is dwelling place. I had hoped to get the second bird here, all of this done. The second bird is not done. I still have a little bit to fill in in the urn or the pot and I don't have any of the flowers done yet. That's okay. It's okay. I'm stitching this on Weeks Dye Works 36 Count Beige. I 
I really should fold these up beforehand, but unlike everybody else, I just don't think about it until I'm actually getting it out trying to fold up. I'm not going to show you the whole thing, but here's the portion that I'm working on. So this has been so much fun. Now, when I first laid this floss down, just a strand across this fabric, I was like, there's no way it's going to show up. But once you stitch it all, it does. So I love how that turned out. Now, I want to point out something with this pattern that I noticed. So if you look at the top, like look at these hearts. Let me get where I'm not shaking it. So you see the hearts? There's no leaf on the vine that touches the heart here or here, right? Now look at the bottom. There's no leaf that touches the vine around the heart here, but look right here. There's one little leaf right there. I didn't do that leaf. I don't even know how I noticed it the way I was stitching, but I thought about going ahead and putting a leaf here and here just all the way around, but I kind of like it how it is up here with, without the leaf. So I just left that one off. So it's just something to think about if you're stitching it. But oh, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. This is the flower right here I'm dying to get to. That right there. Oh, it's so pretty. So pretty. So, so pretty. Okay, so that's all my whips. Um, hopefully, well, I don't even know because I have camp coming up, so I don't know how much progress will be between now and the next video, but um, I'm okay with where I stand in progress. I really like it. I'm excited about it. Um, I want to talk about two sows that are coming up. So the first one is a sow that Stitchy Linda and all for Pete's sake are hosting. I need to go back and look. I don't, I feel like there's a hashtag, but it's left me. I watched, they had a, like one evening they had a live Instagram video and talked about how they were going to do. They are both stitching their pieces together in a different setting or orientation. I am stitching mine individually. I had already done autumn. So I'm just going to stitch mine individually. So the one that I'm going to start, their their start date for the sow is April 25th. I'm pretty sure that's right because it I think it's Linda's birthday. So April 25th, I will be at camp, but I'm going to start it either right before I go to camp or right when I come back. But I'm going to do Simply Aud Spring. Simply Spring as my next one. I'm not changing anything. I bought everything that comes as it says. It is stitched 32 count. Um, one over two and that's how autumn was and I love how it looked coverage wise with how I've it done so that one is coming up I will try to put the information down below um, but it's stitchy Linda and Pete with old for Pete's sake yeah I think that's right um, so if you are interested and I, I saw someone else it may have been I think Jessica Sweetwater Stitcher has, a, it's a drawn thread piece, I think it's called Stars, that she is going to stitch in place of these for the stitch along. So if you have any drawn thread, it would be fun to get on there and just compare notes and whatnot. I also have another drawn thread that I got for, it's a Thanksgiving one that just shows like a Thanksgiving table setting and it has a cute little verse on it but i really like the drawn thread and of course jessica showed that other one and it's one that's been on my wish list forever i need to just buy it and do it but it's beautiful but maybe when these are done so i will need to do spring summer and winter and i'm not going to change any of the house colors or anything like i said they're all going to be done exactly as it calls for and then there is another sow that I am super excited about. 
So Tuesday, after I got back from the dentist, and I'm like, you know, I'm numb. The, the tooth was over here. I'm numb, like my whole face over to right here. So I'm sitting on the couch and I'm like, oh, I just want this to go away. Like, you know, I just need to move on, blah, blah, blah. Wasn't really feeling sorry for myself because the pain hadn't started yet. But I was just like, hmm, don't really feel like doing anything. Just kind of, you know, just wanted to take some medicine, take a little nap and doze off. Well, I got a message from Kim Goldman. And I was like, oh. Kim Goldman, she sent me a message? What is it? She sent me a picture of this chart. She said, I was just starting to kit this up. She said, and I thought it might be something um, that you'd be interested in. I can't remember exact wording, but I was like, oh my goodness, I love that. Like, I love that. Thank you so much for showing me that. And she was like, well, if you want to get this stuff, because I was like, I'm going to order that right away. She was like, well, if you want, I can wait till you get the stuff. And we can stitch it together. And I was like, oh, yes, 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 yes. So in the meantime, she has one or two other people she's reached out to. And they are like, oh, yes, 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 yes. Um, she put a post out on her Instagram. You can go over there and get the information. She lists all the people that she has contacted that are going to do it. I saw a couple other people post on that post, either that they were interested or they had already started the chart, they were gonna get theirs back out. Um, I ordered mine, she said she got hers from the attic, so I called the attic, talked to a super nice lady there. Uh, the girl that was processing orders wasn't there that day, but she was gonna be back the next day. She took all my information, ordered it. I finally got a notice, today's Saturday. I got a notice like Thursday I think that it was shipping. So I had hoped to have already had it and started it, but that's okay. It's on its way. I think it's supposed to be here Monday is what the tracking says. But the chart is I wait for the Lord and it's by hands to work revisited. So I don't, obviously I don't have the chart yet, but this is the screenshot I did and I'm sorry for the glare. But look how pretty that is. Now I think Kim is only doing She's going to start with the middle section, I think she said, um, and then just kind of decide from there. I'm going to do the whole thing because I'm a lunatic and I love all this stuff at the top and the bottom. I mean, of course, the, the middle is what grabbed me, but I do want to do the top and the bottom also. Now, she dyed a piece of linen and it looks almost identical to what is here. I had asked them when I ordered it what was the called for fabric and it is a um, mm -hmm. like side linen so of course you can't get that so I'll just pull something from my stash to see to start and it actually on here when I first looked at it it looked like it was red but Kim in her last video if you go back and watch if you haven't she had a she's going to do the MPI and it's it's like a gold color so now I don't know I don't know which one I'm gonna do but like I said it's not here yet but as soon as it gets here I'm gonna be all over starting that um, and then I'm gonna follow her she was gonna start my days have run together because of my tooth that took over my life so much but um, she was either gonna start this past Sunday or tomorrow. She said something about starting on Sunday, but I can't remember when that message was, but I'm so excited because it is such a beautiful chart. And because it's Kim Goldman, who doesn't want to stitch something with Kim Goldman? Now, of course she's going to be done like a hundred years before I am, but it, it's always nice. And I love it when you get to stitch with a friend that, you know, you don't, you haven't met face to face, but you're still friends and you have the same interests. And it's neat that, you know, with, the age of technology we have, we can still feel like we're stitching together. So super excited about that. Super excited. So if you um, are interested, like I said, her last, or not her last post, but if you go back and look on her Instagram, she has all the information posted. Um, so I will list her down below. Try to remember to. I, I say that a lot that I'm going to list people and then I forget. 
because I, I don't really have a list of people that I plan on mentioning, but then as I babble through my video, then I try to remember who I talked about and list. But, you know, that's an ongoing thing. All right, so now let's talk about haul. I did a lot better in haul this time, which is surprising because I, I had a couple days of just, um, I had one day where I left work early. I had another day. Oh, then over the weekend, I didn't go anywhere last weekend because I was just on the couch with ice packs and rotating my medicine and stuff. So, you know, I watched several movies like I just, but I just wasn't in stitch mode because it was that kind of, I feel bad and I just want to lay around kind of thing. So, but I, I did do some internet scrolling, but I didn't really buy a whole lot. I have, I don't even think I have like a pending order right now other than this chart coming in. But I would like, I had hoped it would come in this morning so I could have went to my LNS and kind of matched up some stuff, but it's okay. It, it'll, I'll still be able to, to start it this week when it gets here. All right, so haul. Huh. I did order Animal Pin Cushions by Kathy Barrett. This was out of this year's market releases. It was one that I'd said was on my um, definite to buy list. So here it is. I think it actually calls, she has a DMC conversion, but I think the models, I'm pretty sure were stitched with MPI. I think she has all her models stitched with MPI. But I love it. Won't these just be adorable like in a little, I have a dough bowl that I've never really got set up really perfect and loving it, but this would be good because you could leave it out year round. But I love it. I want to do all of them. Birds, rabbits. This one says wolves. It's a little dark, but it says wolves. Lions, tigers, dogs, bears, pigs, goats, because we love goats here. Camels, cats, sheep. So, I got that. And then, what else did I get? I got my from the Silver Needle, um, the um, Stitching Circle. I got my next little package and it has a chart from Pansy Patch Quilts. It's called Friendship Blooms. And I'm not gonna lie, I almost started it right away. I really like her stuff. I don't own a lot of her stuff but this might start me down a path. So, love this. It came with, let me see if I have my list. So it came with, I don't think it tells you what the fabric is, does it? I know it's a 36 count because that's what I signed up for but I don't know what the name of it is right off. It probably says on here. And, um, I don't know. But anyway, this is my linen, which is really pretty. And it came with, of course, the jelly beans that it always comes with. I gave them to my husband. It come with this neat little, sorry, the sun's like shining really bright right now. This neat little, packet of needles and they wrote up a little thing about what the different needles are so it gives you some stuff to try and a couple of them I've heard people talk about so I'm excited to have those to try but it's magnetic so I like that I have one of the magnetic ones from Fat Quarter Shop but this is smaller I mean not that the other one's like giant it's not too cumbersome or anything but that's cute little sticker it also came with some trim A little bit of trim. I don't think it's actually, it's not finished with that trim, but they just included it. But I'll, I like it. Um, came with the floss, which is, uh, 
I don't know if it's, it doesn't say has Oscar, so maybe they're, I don't know if they're all weeks die works or what. I probably did know at one point, but um, it's left me. And then I have, what are these called? Old fashioned safety pins. And a couple of little charms. Let's say made with love. So I'm excited about these. I, I haven't ever had anything like those little pins. Okay, and then I have a free pattern. Now I had seen this, somebody had posted on Instagram and I saw it and I was like, oh, that's really cute. But I was like, I don't, I don't need that. I have so much stuff like we all do, right? I have so much stuff. I do not need to print off another pattern. And then I was watching Karen KBH stitches and she has started on it. Well, I finished watching her video. I went on there and found the free pattern and downloaded it. So this is by Boomerang Stitches and it's called Bird Nerd. It's very different from like what I would stitch. Of course, I like it because it has nerd in it. <laughs> but she has the first bird completely done and it's really pretty. So I can't remember. I think she's using uh, Aus Osnumberg. Something that's a, a cross stitch fabric that she talked about that she bought quite a bit of and she's doing it on there and it looks really, really good. So I don't know what color I will stitch it on. I don't know when I'll start it, but I really like the birds. So I will list her down below too. So, which kind of messed with me because Kim Goldman reminds me of a lady I used to work with named Karen. So Kim, stitch along. Karen, stitch along. Because there are, there are two stitch alongs and Karen lists them both in her last video. I don't remember the exact hashtag hashtags. But if you go back and watch her, and I'm sure she has it on her Instagram too. But super cute. So that is all my haul, which is very good compared to what it has been lately. I do still need to order. I think I have decided on my Mania stitches for uh, Tracy Kogut that I'm doing. So I just need to order just the last little bit of stuff. For that and then I'll be all set to start mania so that's exciting so I think that's all the stitching that I have right now if I forgot something again I'll show it in the next video I do want to see I did make I did make a little sticky note so I wouldn't forget a couple things I do um, I had meant to go ahead and get knee high frame today uh, but it, it didn't work. My plans changed a little bit this morning and it just didn't get done. So maybe by next time, maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, I know what it was. I wanted to show you. Um, talking about the silver needle, silver needle stitching circle. I did just want to show you that is the third one so far, just so you can see if you haven't seen it before. I know there's I've seen a few other floss tubers that are in it. And of course people are posting on Instagram and seen it, but this is the first one that came out. I've got my kit put up or I would have gotten it out. This was by Artful Offerings. This is the second one. This is Scarlet House. So I want to get starts on all those. Brenda from, uh, Brendan Sarah starter. She got, I don't think she's in the club, but she got this from somebody. I can't remember exactly how she said that was, but she finished hers. Ooh, pretty, 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 pretty. All right. So now I'm going to move on to quilting, which will be a little bit different than my regular quilting section. Um, I'm going to start with haul. Now I'm going to show you my two random things because they're haul even though they don't have anything to do with stitching, they don't have anything to do with quilting, but I just love them and I thought they were really cool. So I thought I would share them with you. A while back, my son and his girlfriend came home. They had been to the bookstore and they got this book 
it's a I don't even know what you would call it because I think it's the only one of its kind or the only one that I have been able to find but they got this book and it's basically put in the wrong order within the book so you take all the pages out of the book and you put it back in order and it's like a murder mystery so you know it has all these clues and whatnot and you put it back in order so they worked on it for a little bit and I think they've kind of put it to the side. Going to come back to it later. And I was thinking about it a couple of weeks ago. I was like, you know, I think I'd like to try that. I think that would be fun. Oh, I couldn't remember what the name of the book was. Um, couldn't remember who it was by. I asked my son. He couldn't remember the book. I think it's all over at his girlfriend's apartment. So he didn't have it here to look. So we wound up in the bookstore a couple of days ago. And I was like, I'm going to see if I can find that book. So I found it. So it's called... Kane's jawbone. So it says um, this was originally released in 1934. I looked it up and it depends on where you look because of course you can look up stuff on the internet and find a hundred different answers to something. But the highest number that I could find that they said had solved it was like four people. So it's like hundred-ish pages oh wait they might be telling a story hold on there's a bunch of names in the back of this oh this is just people everyone who pledged their support is listed below I was getting ready to say did all these people solve this anyway I know there's a lot of stitchers out there that are also readers thought so I thought it would just be interesting might be something someone might be interested in. So, Kane's Jawbone is the name of that. So, I'll keep you posted. I don't know that you're ever going to see me and go, hey, y'all, I figured it out, but I thought that was kind of cool. And then the second thing, I'm sorry, my nose is like itching off. The second thing we got while we were at the bookstore, I love a jigsaw puzzle. I had talked about it before, kind of off and on, like, I just love to have a jigsaw puzzle out. It reminds me when I was little, my grandma always did puzzles, and I just have always loved a puzzle. When I was a teenager, I also very much loved Volkswagen buses. I wanted one so bad. Like, it was my dream car. It really was. And my dad was like, absolutely not. No, 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 no. No, no, no. So, every time we go to the bookstore, I always kind of wind up in the puzzle section. And they had a puzzle and I was like, oh, I need it. So I gave my husband puppy dog eyes and he bought it for me. <laughs> Sorry, I don't have enough room to like leave everything in arm's reach. So I got to go in and out. But this is the puzzle. It's a Volkswagen bus and it says wave hopper. But it comes in this tin that is a Volkswagen bus. So I was a little geeky over that. They also have one that's a Volkswagen Beetle, just in case you're interested. <laughs> All right, so now quilting. All right, so I have just a couple little things to haul that I'm going to talk about. Then we'll move on to the quilts that are hanging up behind me. First piece of haul is a charm pack. This is Clover Blossom Farm by Kansas Troubles. I don't remember exactly. Do you see my sleeve moving? The dog is like aggressively licking my arm right now. She's been sitting behind me all quiet and still and really good. And now she is licking me to death. I don't know if you can hear that licking. I'm sorry if you can. It probably sounds gross. But anyway, I'm not sure, but I, I feel like this was probably a flash sale because that's how I've been getting most of those. And if it wouldn't have been a flash sale, I probably would have ordered more. So that's why I know that it was probably a flash sale. But, so that's pretty. So I got that. I got my latest edition. I don't think I had this in the last video. American Patchwork and Quilting. I love this quilt on the cover. If you look, it's really just um, monkey wrench. Is that what they call it? But it's just elongated. So I love it. I love the colors. 
Like, if there was somewhere, I guess I could probably look. Uh, churn dash, churn dash, or monkey wrench. That's, that's the other word I was thinking of. I guess I could look. Somebody might have a kit of it. But look. And it's uh, Jen Kingwell. This is who the pattern's by. So that's probably my favorite one out of here. I will say it also has... Where is it? I thought it was going to give me a page number. Let me just flip and see if I can find it. This one is also very pretty. I wouldn't do yellow necessarily as the background, but I like the stars. That's a pattern by Deborah Feenan, F-I-N-A-N. It's called Spreading Sunshine. And then I got tickled when I saw this other one because I've been working on this for 112,000 years. If it ever got finished, I don't know that I would know what to do with myself. Um, maybe it's not in here. Maybe it was just a picture that somebody sent, but right here. They did the dark background where I'm doing the light background. It is Scrap Happy is the name of it. So that was pretty cool to see. One day I would love to be able to show that and be like, hey, look guys, I finished it. It'll be wow. Okay, so then the last bit of haul that I have, it's actually, I mean, it was freebies, so still be in haul, but I didn't actually pay any money for it. I was looking on Instagram and uh, Primrose Cottage had a free chart. So I jumped over there to print the free chart off. And as I was over there, apparently they have a patriotic mystery quilt along going on. So from what I can tell, so it looks like it's four weeks. They give a clue each time. The first clue was yesterday. Um, so I printed it off because it's, it's patriotic. All you have to do is say patriotic. I'm 100% in. So I printed that off. And of course, I don't know what it's going to look like, so I can't show you a picture of it finished. But the first block, beautiful. Um, and then this was a free pattern also. It's a table runner. And I thought that was cute. So I printed that off. I still have a lot of organization to do for the stuff like that where I've printed off to get it right in books and get it organized where I can go back and find stuff pretty easily. But I'm, I'm working on that. It's a work in progress. All right, so the last little bit of the video, or wait, before I get there, let's talk about the quilts behind me. I'm getting myself out of order. So this morning I was like, I think I want to change the quilts because I've had the other one up for quite a while as a background. So I want to kind of switch it out and see. So I came in, I was like, okay, which one do I want to hang up? So I'm kind of looking through my quilts, trying to see. And someone had asked about this quilt in the last video. So I was like, I'll just hang the turtles up. Well, I put it up and it just looks so teeny tiny, you know, because it's a smaller quilt. So I was like, well, I hate to just hang it up there because it just looks so bare, you know, because I've had a bigger one up there. I was like, maybe I will just put another little one up. So the one that was hanging on the quilt ladder with it is this one. So I went ahead and hung them both up. I don't know how I feel about them up. I, I, FaceTime my daughter. She said it didn't look too crowded or junky or anything. We'll see. Again, nobody sees it but y'all and anybody that comes in my sewing room, which is basically nobody. So I don't know why I obsess over things, but these are both applique quilts. Both uh, were done raw edge. This one has uh, just like a either a zigzag or a buttonhole stitch around the pieces. I think most of it is zigzag. And then the stars right here, they're pieced. These are the ring of the turtle is paper pieced. And then it's applique down. So this middle piece of the shell around the shell, the feet, the tail, the head, are all ac ac <laughs> I'm not having a stroke, I promise. <laughs> They're all <coughs> machine applique. 
with a uh, like a satin stitch. Oh, the name of this quilt is Turtle Travels. It is a pattern by the City Stitcher. I think you can still get it, but I'm not sure if it's like an eBay secondhand situation or if the original seller still sells them. I'm not 100% certain. This one is by Laundry Basket Quilts. It is called Spring Bouquet. I don't know where my box is that was in it. Because she had a bigger one. There was Spring Bouquet and Spring Something Else. I will look it up and try to put it below because now I'm second guessing. I don't know if Spring Bouquet was the bigger one or if this was the bigger one. Or if... It's either named Spring Bouquet or the bigger one is named Spring Bouquet. That's what I'm trying to get out of my mouth and I don't know which way it is. But anyway, I love both of them. This one I started before I had any uh, skill, before I was at the skill level. I think that if I would have waited till I had the skill level to do this, it probably would have never gotten done. Sometimes it's better just to jump in and do your best. And I'm very pleased with the end result. Now, I did the border that I put on it is different from the border in the pattern. The border in the pattern has more of a jagged edge, jagged edge between the two colors. If I did it again, I would definitely do the jagged edge. I may have done this a second time. I feel like I did one of these for somebody. I don't remember who it was. And I think I did the jagged edge on that one. But anyway, if I ever did it again for me, I would do the jagged edge. But I love the colors. It's all done in batiks that I picked out, like, just from stash and just picked up a couple extras. It wasn't a kit or anything. This one was a kit that came out. It was done as a block of the month program from Laundry Basket Quilts. So, like, each month you did, like, one of the squares. And then, you know, at the end with the setting, you got all the stuff for the the stars and everything in the middle. So it took me a really long time to do this just because I would start it, work on it, put it away. Months later, I would get it back out, do a little bit on it, put it away. So it took forever. I really, really love it. And this is the one I'd shown up close in a previous video. It is custom quilted. This one is not custom quilted. It is the farthest thing from custom quilted. It is not even professionally quilted. I did the quilting on this myself. It's done with a crosshatch, a large crosshatch quilt on it. I actually put this one in a quilt show one time and I don't remember. It was a, the quilt show had a, like a theme. It was like water, something to do with water. So I put it in that, in the themed entry category or whatever. And I want to say I either got, I don't know if I placed or if I got like an honorable mention, but I got a ribbon off of it. I just don't remember if it was a place ribbon or an honorable mention. Um, but I love it. And I do, you know, it was always my intention with both these to have them done where I could hang them up on the wall. The turtle quilt hung in my son's bedroom when he was little for quite a while. But when he got up and was old enough, when he got up, when he grew up and was old enough to have an opinion, he was like, Mom, I don't want that turtle quilt in my room. So I was like, okay. <laughs> okay, son, you don't have to have it in your room. It's fine. So it's in my room. Okay. So now I'm going to talk about quilt camp. Quilt camp, I will leave this coming Thursday for quilt camp. Quilt camp is Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Now I'm going to miss a little bit of Saturday because we had concert tickets to a concert here in town. So I'm going to drive back Saturday because camp isn't that far away. It's like 30, 40 minutes. Um, but I'm going to drive back home, go to the concert. Then I'll go back Sunday morning and stay for the duration of Sunday. But um, it's four days of just sewing. They take care of feeding you. You just go and you sew. It's nothing organized. You take whatever you want to work on. 
for you and you don't worry about anybody else and we just go in and we catch up and we talk and we laugh and we sew and we eat and we sew and we talk and we sew it's fantastic I absolutely love it so I started packing for camp the other day in years past I have tried to cut out stuff before I go to camp that didn't happen this time but it didn't happen last camp either and I wound up okay I got two things finished at camp last time. I don't really know what I'll get finished this time, if anything. So I always wind up taking more than what I know I will work on because if I'm not in the mood for something, I don't want to just make myself work on it because that's all I took with me. So I am going to take, my plan is to take Swoon, which I took last time, and we're now up to two whole blocks. <laughs> So I'm not sure you're going to see a lot of progress on Swoon, but it's fun to work on. So I'm taking it with me. Everything's cut out. Has been cut out forever. Okay, I'm going to bend down out of frame again and get a stack of stuff. So hold on. All right, so some of these you will remember from last time that I went to camp that I, I showed stuff. I am going to take my Barn Star Sampler. This is the one I'm doing in red, white, and blue that will be finished when I'm 105 years old. It's beautiful. So I'm taking that one. May get some attention. May not. This one, I can't remember if I took this one last time or the time before. So it's been to one or two camps. This is a, I don't know, let me show all that. It's a free pattern by Fat Core Shop. Star Cakes Quilt. It's done with two layer cakes. So I have a snow layer cake and I have Celestial by Thin Cheek. I wasn't going to take this one just because I'm like, you know, I take that all the time. I've taken it a couple times. I haven't done it. There's no need to take it, but I'm going to take it. If I don't work on it, it's just made a little trip. It'll come back. It'll be fine. One more duck out. Okay. And then I have another one that's been to camp a couple times. Uh, this is by Running Doe Quilts for Villa Rosa Designs. It's called Liberty. I got this kit at Pineapple Fabrics a super long time ago. I don't even know how long ago, but a super long time. It has also been to camp a couple times. It should go super fast. I just haven't started it. Last time I tried to take stuff, I didn't take anything. I don't think I took anything brand new. And I'm like, I'm taking some new stuff this time. I don't care. It's my rules. It's my decision. I do whatever I want to do at camp. <laughs> I'm going to take Quilter's Cottage. This is the quilt that I'm working on with a group of friends from camp. By this time, I should have had... She's snoring. Can y'all hear her? She's so cute. Anyway, by the time April's over, I should really have down to here done. All I have done are the two trees. I don't know why I joined Quote Alongs, because I never finish on time. Or I don't want to say I never finish on time. If I finish on time, it's because I have that last little bit of crunch, like running through getting done, but I'll take this. We'll, we'll probably all work on this summit camp. I'm really excited to see everybody's houses. And maybe, you know, I thought about maybe I want to try to do the house before I go, but one time we had a, a quilt that we were working on, and I was just really stuck on this portion of it with color choices and stuff, and we got there, and one of my friends had a great idea for the color, so I might want to see their houses before I do my house. I might need to be a copycat. And then... I am going to take this one. This is a kit from Fat Quarter Shop. Garnet's Quilt Kit by Primitive Gatherings. It has two jelly rolls and a couple backgrounds. I don't even remember what the picture looks like, but it's the like the cranberry color. So I'm going to take that. And then the last thing I'm taking, and again, I by no means think that all these 
will get started or have any attention or anything. I might go and work on one thing the whole entire time. You just don't know. Um, but the next thing I'm taking is Flower Peddler by Kim Deal. Oh my gosh. If I do not bust into this one at camp, I will not even know what's wrong with me because I, I just don't know how I couldn't bust into this. Some would say because look at it. That would be pretty hanging up right behind me. Look. Oh, that would be so pretty. So pretty. Okay. So that is all the craziness I have to show you today. Is it? Yes. So everything else in my basket that I packed is like the fabrics. Excuse me, the fabrics to go with that. I do have my little basket of gifts for my friends. Oh, that came right off. I have a... We ordered t-shirts that will be there for camp that say, I'm in a quilt gang. So I did everybody a little thing to put on their keychain that says, or not, I'm a quilt nerd. <laughs> oh, I'm in a quilt gang. I'm in a quilt gang. So, or I made little things to put on your keychains and then I bought everybody a little pack of quilt labels. So that will go to camp. But anyway, so camp is coming up. So hopefully I will actual, actually have actual quilting items to show you next time. Um, I will have started, I should have started Mania, is that right? Before I'm back with you. Hold on, I covered my phone up. I'm about to have avalanche. Let me look at a calendar. Um, my next video should be May 4th, so it's possible I may have started on my Mania pieces by the time I come back. I don't know. If not, I should have some project, project, process, I should have some progress on some of my other pieces. I hope to get my other whip go piece out maybe later tonight and work on it. Possibly in tomorrow. Just kind of depends on what kind of mood I'm in. We might go see a movie later tonight. We don't know. Um, we'd gone out to dinner last night for our anniversary, but then we're old and tired, so we just came home. <laughs> so maybe we'll go out and watch a movie tonight. I don't know. But anyway, I will try to list below everybody that I mentioned or talked about and I will be back hopefully in two weeks could push into three just depending um, on how everything goes so until then I just want to thank you for watching me for hanging out with me for a little bit I hope that you have had a great weekend so far I hope you have a great couple weeks and I hope you get lots of stitching and lots of quilting done